For various reasons, I see players hit it fat because the club head arc gets too wide too early. This is like this early release look and the club wants to like hit the ground back here. So we need to have the club head working down to the golf ball in a little bit more of a vertical angle. So what we do to do that, and this is one that I have seen a lot, but I kind of took this variation from Dennis Sales, is this little great wall behind the golf ball. Is start on top of it. From this position, my weight's still neutral. I'm gonna feel like the club head works over these golf balls as my weight moves forward. That's like the simplified version here. All right guys, so in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to stop hitting behind the ball, that dreaded fat shot uh, that we want to be able to fix. Quick note, there are only a couple days left. You wanna do the 14 day free trial to cogornogolf.com. We'll put a link in the description down below. Absolutely risk-free way to try online coaching. Send me in your swing. Let me do the work for you. Identify the main priorities, put together a practice plan and show you exactly what you need to do to hit the ball much better, much farther and play better golf this year. Cogornogolf.com, we'll put that in the description down below. Okay, so hitting behind the ball in fat shots, there's really three things that I see a lot that would cause fat shots uh, with the players that I work bo bo both you know, online and in person. Number one is not having the setup correct. Number two is not having the weight shift correct. And number three is not having the club arc correct. So if you hit fat shots, you wanna look at setup, weight shift, arc height of the club, and I'll explain all three of these. So the practice station I'm gonna give you here, you'll see I have set up, um, I'm gonna explain in a minute, but let's go through the, the setup pieces first. Now, I've got an eight iron here, I'd like you to practice this with an eight iron to start with, but really fixing hitting behind the ball is true for you know any time the, the ball's on the ground, so any club you would hit when the ball's on the ground. So getting the setup right. Now, here's what I see a lot, right, and a lot of the, um, you know, we've had some good support with the free trial, a lot of the people who are sending swings in. I see a lot of the same setup issues, which is the grip is too weak, the shaft is too far back, and the hips and weight are too far back. I would say probably 70 to 80% of people I see who struggle with contact don't have this setup piece correct. So they have the grip too weak. You see that um, purple dot, it's my little snuff box on my wrist. That's on the left half of the shaft, that would be too weak. The shaft is too far back, so it's pointed towards the middle part of my body, my hands are back, and my hips and weight are too far back. Now, if I set up like this versus what's correct, which we'll put on the screen end or we'll use this model, here's the good, which one of those two look like I'm gonna hit the ball solid versus fat? This option or this option? right? This one, right? The one that's more forward. So what I want to be able to do at setup to, it doesn't guarantee solid contact, but it's part one in the process is let's make sure we have our lead hand grip on correct, just for all purposes, hitting the ball solid, straight, etc. So this purple dot on my snuff box is on the right half of the shaft. Okay. The V is over by my right collarbone. That's just a bonus. I want the hands inside left thigh. The weight should be 50-50, or if anything, slightly favoring the forward foot with the ball on the ground. So 55 on the left will be fine, even 60 on the left. Don't want more weight to the right, that increases fat shots. Anytime there's more weight to the right, it increases the odds of hitting behind the ball. So we have the snuff box, the hands inside left thigh, and then I would look at the belt line. I want to be dead in the middle of your ankles or slightly forward. If you hit fat shots, I'd prefer you go slightly forward. You'll notice when you do that, you're like 55 on your left, okay? So just getting the setup pieces right, I've got the snuff box, the handle forward, inside left thigh, and the weight forward. And you wanna use like mirror or video to be able to confirm those setup pieces right here. Again, that's not gonna guarantee with 100% certainty your contact, but it's part number one. Now, part number two is the weight shift, okay? And kind of the simple version of this is, the more weight you have on your right side or your trail side at any point in the swing, whether it's at setup, during the back swing, during the early down swing, at the finish position certainly, the odds of you hitting behind the ball go way higher, right? The more your body is behind the ball, you're gonna hit behind the ball more. Do I want your body to go wildly in front? No, I mean, I want the lower body to go in front, but we do need to be shifting forward. So here's kind of the simple, simple version. We get the setup version correct, 55-45, or 50-50. Hands are slightly forward, grips on there good. Now I put this club in line with the golf ball. Now with an eight iron, I like to see the ball about underneath the left ear. So this golf ball is about two to three balls inside my lead heel, it's underneath my lead ear, and that's just gonna serve as my golf ball line. 
So my hip center is like just slightly behind this club on the ground. What I'm trying to do during the backswing is avoid shifting too far to the right if I hit fat shots. And that's everything. I want my hips to stay fairly centered. I want my head to stay fairly centered. And I still want to be like 50-50 at the top of my swing. Okay, and then like some of the examples will show, I want to be shifting forward, forward during my downswing. Okay, so I want my weight to start neutral, stay neutral, and then I need to move forward from the top of the backswing to about left arm parallel. Everything should move forward, head included, head, left shoulder, left hip, left knee, all of that moves slightly forward. The more my body works forward, the more my low point works forward, right? So up to the top, start neutral, stay neutral. There's gotta be some slight forward motion here. From here, I wanna continue with my lower body moving forward, not my upper. So I'm gonna push my belt buckle. I'm gonna use this little club as a wall. I want my belt buckle to push forward and up of that to ensure that when I finish, I get into a full finish position. My hips are up over my left ankle. My hips are pushed forward. My weight is forward. I got all my weight on my left foot. So even just here, I've got the grip on correct, handle forward, weight neutral. I'm gonna stay fairly neutral on the way back. I'm gonna shift everything forward and shift my hips forward. Really the main thing I want you to key in on is just make sure you get the hips forward, right? Get the weight forward into the finished position. So like any of the models we'll use or we'll use this example here, I wanna make sure that I get finished with my hips and belt buckle forward of the club on the line. Handle forward, weight a little bit forward, stay centered, move forward. And there's a nice solid strike there. So weight being part number two, right? Three things we said, get the setup correct. That's the handle forward, weight a little forward. Get the weight correct, that's start neutral, stay neutral, move forward, avoid excessive movement to the right. Another thing you can do, you know, if you have too much movement to the right, depending upon which part, if it's a hit, too much hip movement, I would typically put a little object by your right hip and avoid bumping into that on the way back. We we'll use that a lot. Or if it's your head moving too far to the right, I'd put a little object just to the right of your ear and avoid hitting that on the way back. We've got some good videos on staying centered during the backswing. Now the last part um, is the arc height of the club, right? So for various reasons, I see players hit it fat because the club head arc gets too wide too early. This is like this early release look and the club wants to like hit the ground back here. So we need to have the club head working down to the golf ball in a little bit more of a vertical angle. So what we do to do that, and this is one that I have seen a lot, but I kind of took this variation from Dennis Sales, is this little great wall behind the golf ball. So what you do is you take your eight iron and you put three golf balls in a wall about one grip behind the golf ball. So it's about one grip length behind the golf ball. Three golf balls, the middle ball is straight in line with the ball target. Then you have one ball on either side of them. The point is that's roughly the height that the club head needs to work on to hit ball first, ground second. That's a key point, I'm gonna say that again. Getting this over this golf ball, and I've got that one grip back, right? So it's kind of in line with my trail foot. That's roughly the height your club needs to work on down into the golf ball. So if that feels steeper for you, uh, more downward, and that it's likely you're too shallow too early. You have this early release pattern. Now the caveat, because I used to do this for a long time with people, I just have them start uh, normal, go above it, go above it. But then I saw Dennis do, and I like this better, which is when you take your setup position, still have the grip good, handle forward, weight slightly forward, actually start with the club over it, right? Because in reality, if I made a perfect takeaway, I might clip those golf balls. I'm not concerned with you going up on the way back, and I don't want that to be messing you up. What I actually want is start on top of it. From this position, my weight's still neutral. I'm gonna feel like the club head works over these golf balls as my weight moves forward. That's like the simplified version here. Handle forward weight forward, start with the club over the golf balls, get the club head to work over the golf balls as my weight moves forward. Now, one of the images we'll show on here, you'll see probably Grant Waite. I like to use him because he's a good model swing. In terms of how this works, you're gonna see he actually is able, and this is what a lot of good ball strikers will do, he's able to get the butt of the club in line with the golf ball while the shaft is still parallel to the ground. And that's a huge checkpoint. So as I is in, in my hip rotation, my hand should be back in front of my trail thigh. The butt of the club should be pretty close to the ball when the shaft's still parallel. It's like the lag part. 
what do I see all the time for fat shots? When the hands are even with the thigh, the club head is in line with the left arm. I probably gave that lesson 20 times in the past couple days where the players throw too soon, too, uh, too early like this. So you need to be feeling like to get this arc correct, the butt of the club gets all the way even while the shaft is still parallel to the ground. And yes, that's you doing it, right? That's you manipulating it. That's you forcing that there. You're normal, you're comfortable is here. That's why you're hitting fat shots and watching this video. You need to feel the butt of the club here with the shaft still parallel to the ground. So just in terms of that, it's gonna feel like the arc height is more narrow. One grip back, snuff box good, handle forward, weight forward. Start with it over it, and then I'm gonna to learn to hit the ball solid from that position. Here. And I'm feeling, good, that one actually hit a little too far down. Now he'll still, I hit that one perfectly solid. I take a little bit of a big divot, but that's the point. Like if you're hitting fat shots, especially for a long period of time, don't be afraid to thin a couple. Don't be afraid to take big divots in front of the ball. Overdo a couple of these in practice just to get the sensation. Handle forward, weight forward, over the ball on the way back. Perfect. And that's what I would say you should expect is like, if anything, if I'm working with you on this, I want you to have your low point too far forward, have the club head a bit too far down, regardless of swing direction, to where your low point might be a little bit too far forward. Like that's the side you want to air on. Hands forward, weight forward, keep it neutral, move it forward, get the arc height. So I just like the club on the ground to feel my belt buckle working forward to that on the way down and through. Yeah, and there's not a chance I'm hitting any of those shots fat. So, yeah, listen, I see a lot of golf swings. There's a lot of different reasons why stuff happens. But if I could uh, kind of simplify it down into the main ones for you to look for, if you keep hitting behind the ball, it's the setup, the weight distribution, and the arc height. So put these three golf balls behind a golf ball when you go practice. Start with an eight iron. And don't be afraid to exaggerate. Now, always using video is the only way to know for sure. Like if you go practice this and you don't use video, you really don't know if you did it right or not. Me neither. When I go practice, I go hit a ball, look at video, hit a ball, look at video, hit a ball, look at video. So I hit less balls, but I get way better, way faster. Okay, that would be a good idea. So when you're hitting balls, just grab an eight iron, start back here and just go hip high, hip high. Like just start with getting a sensation. In fact, maybe not even a ball first. Just get a sensation of what this looks like, like a little bit of a half swing. And then slowly work your way up. Now, some of you will need more exaggeration than others. Okay, some of you, when I just put this here, and say, hey, don't shift back so much, that's not gonna do it. You're gonna need a practice station by your hip or your head, like I mentioned. You're gonna need some more advanced stuff. But what you all can do is make sure you get all the way through. Like if you're hitting fat shots, at minimum, make sure you finish with your weight and body fully forward, right? That would be a no-brainer piece. So fat shots, those are the three pieces. If you guys need any help, like before, want any sort of guidance, kagornogolf.com, we have that 14-day trial going through this Sunday. Take advantage of that, send it in, absolutely risk-free. I'll take a look at those videos, identify what you need to focus on, and we'll get you hitting the ball better. Thank you guys for watching.